What's going on everyone? It's been a while since we've done an international pandemic update video. So I figured today, let's do one and let's see what's going on with coronavirus in the rest of the world outside of the US. So starting off here, we're going to use worldometers first and we'll start off with uh, the cases that have come in so far today. They haven't updated everywhere. Some places only update once a week and just so happens to not be today, but there's quite a few uh, countries that did come in today. First off, United States here. It's only saying 16,728. That's way too low. Uh, they're not adding, like if a state updates for a week, they're not adding all the days as one. They're breaking it up into the individual days. And I understand why they do that. But that's not an accurate count. And it doesn't even include all the states that came in today. France today. 105,516 new cases added, 117 deaths, South Korea, 77,604 new cases, 24 deaths, Japan, 137,193 cases, and 147 new deaths, Russia, just 5,561 cases added today, 59 new deaths added, Australia, 4,843 New cases, 20 deaths. Taiwan, 16,034 new cases, 22 deaths. Mexico, 12,617 new cases, 67 deaths. Indonesia, 3,744 new cases, 45 deaths. Let's see where else has a lot. Here we go. Malaysia, 1,649 cases, 16 new deaths. Chile, 1,923 new cases, 10 deaths added. Philippines added 883 cases today, plus 20 deaths. Hong Kong, 9,952 new cases and 16 new deaths. Slovenia, 2,669 new cases, just one new death added today. And now let's take a look at the weekly trends, shall we, in case changes. And as you can see here, the biggest changes are, let's go down here. Here we go. Slovenia, Slovakia up 3%, Siberia up 3%, Hungary's up 4% this week, Japan up 4%, Germany is up 7% for cases, uh, Paulu is up 10%, Iceland's even up 10%, let's keep coming up here, Russia's up 12% for cases, Hong Kong is now at a 13% increase in cases, Albania 14% increase in cases, continuing on here, Poland is up 25%. So in Europe, it's pretty clear in Europe that the winter wave is now starting to kick in. I mean, look at France here, up 27%. 391,000 cases in the last seven days. Preceding seven days, 308,000. And they're even up 9% for deaths as well. Let's see, New Zealand's up 28%. Uh, that's not good. 34,900. 34,497 cases in the last seven days, preceding seven days, 27,047. New Zealand has, I hate to say it, they've basically given up on coronavirus. There was a point in time where New Zealand was very, very conscientious about COVID. I mean, really tight, tight. Not anymore. Continuing on here with just a couple more. Denmark's up 53%, and Colombia is up 54% for cases. All right, let's take a look at some charts, shall we? And here's some confirmed deaths. So these are weekly confirmed uh, deaths. And as you can see here, the United States continues to be over 2,000 deaths a week. Japan is now at, for the, this week, the last seven days, 1,180 deaths as of December 5th. Germany, 729. France, 4,700. 474, Canada 374, China just two, and United Kingdom for some reason is reporting zero. Not understanding why they're reporting zero. Let's take a look at confirmed cases, weekly cases, shall we? Check this out. Japan has been on a rise here, and you can clearly see it on this chart. Japan continues to be on a rise. France is rising. United States has somewhat plateaued. I'm expecting that to continue to rise relatively soon. China may have peaked and may be showing signs of starting to drop, but however, they're going to be easing up on their COVID zero policy in some parts of China. That may lead to increased cases once again. Germany, 
somewhat flat, but I suspect Germany, as you saw there on world of meters, Germany is going to start rising again soon. United Kingdom slowly starting to rise, and Canada is also slowly starting to rise. Taking a look at some hospital admissions here. So, let's uh, minimize this here. And what we're looking at here is hospital admissions in four different countries. First off, look at France. France hospital admissions are starting to rise. Now take a look at Spain. Spain is slowly starting to rise, but not as significant as France. Take a look at Greece. And this is per million people. Greece, yep, slowly starting to rise for hospital admissions. And finally, take a look at England. England, on the other hand, is continuing to drop. They have not really started with their winter wave yet. But I suspect after post-Christmas, we'll probably will see the rest of Europe starting to rise, or the rest of the UK, for that matter. So what have we learned here? There's the possibility that have China is starting to maybe plateau and drop somewhat. We have to watch what happens if they ease up under COVID-0 policy. Because they eventually have very minimal immunity in China. Not many people have been affected because they have been so strict with COVID-0 policy. We also have to watch what's going on in Japan. Japan is really high right now. They're probably going to have another significant death wave. And finally, of course, we need to watch Europe. Europe's winter wave is just starting. We need to see how severe it gets. And that often is a telling sign of what's going to happen here in the United States. The BQ subvariants are the variants that is in play currently in Europe. However, China is the XBB variant. And the XBB variant is starting to become a little bit more prevalent in the United States. It's now up to, I believe, 5%. And we can actually take a look at that. Let's take a look here. XBB, 5.5% in the United States. That could be our future wave come January, post-holidays in the United States, as that increases. And I do believe, in terms of subvariants, we might now be following China more so than Europe. It's it's a mess. There's all these different subvariants here in the United States. So it's something we have to watch. Alrighty, thanks for watching this long overdue international pandemic update video and we'll probably do another international pandemic update video next week and i might start adding some more uh international numbers back into the daily update videos that i do as needed or if it's a day with less data okay thanks for watching remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below and to share these videos stay safe everyone